Hey Gemini's, wholeness and love to you. We're gonna go ahead and open up this reading by clearing all negative energies. We give no permission and do not allow any negative energies, entities, groups, organizations, any of that to be in our sacred space right now. We are completely repelling it and we are returning it to sender, returning it to sender, returning it to sender and it will hit them infinitely fold, okay? Only all love and light, positivity, wholeness, all right? And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Gemini's, we need you to focus right now. We need you to focus. We have a lot of messages, so make sure that you are able to watch this video when there are no distractions, where you can have, we can have your full, complete, bold, undivided attention. Undivided attention right now, okay? We want to give you a few messages before we, we got some deep messages to talk about today. And uh, we want you to know that there's a lot of uh, videos on our community tab that we've shared and also in the description box below. Extremely, extremely intense, important videos that is needed for you to watch. So we recommend you binge watch them so that you can get information. There's two specifically uh, NPCs that we want to tell you about. And if you don't know what an NPC is, these are soulless entities or beings that have a soul and they have one main purpose and that is to distract you from your true potential. They are meant to trigger you. They are meant to just, just keep you you know, all fluster and everything away from your true soul's path. So typically the NPCs, they could be family members, they could definitely be your, they could be your children as well, they could be friends, they could be people that you work with. These are people who will always argue with you back and forth, always trigger you, make you feel less than, make you feel incompetent and you know, uh, they will be the ones that always drain you, you're always tired, they always complaining and just negative or always trying to get you to go out or distract you from staying focused on what it is that you need to do. And then also we want to let you know for those of you who follow religions or you use that word G-O-D and praise to G-O-D, we want to let you know that you are praying to a demonic being, okay? So um, there's a video in the uh, on the community tab and in the description box below that will give you full information as far as to how that is all demonic and everything when you use those words. We have only one creator and any of those names that those religions gave are only one creator that is not the name. It is, it is everything and it is not tied down to anything. It is infinite, okay? So uh, we just wanted to put that out there just so that you are aware. So if you're following religions, politicians, celebrities, and all of those things, you are following satanic beings. They are not of the light. They are inorganic. Okay? That is a truth. Uh, so, and you will find out detailed, thorough information in the community tab. Also, too, we know that a lot of things are being infiltrated. Our, our food, water, and everything uh, that, you know, that we have at this time. And so we wanted to just let you know that we have, like we drink our water out of this um, glass water bottle and then it has healing stones at the, the bottom of it, rose quartz, and you could get clear quartz or any stones that will help. But it, what it does is it clears and charges the water because you have the ability to be able to change your water and make it alive. And it's good to drink in natural spring water. We have those bottles on sale on our website, but you can also go get it from anywhere if you want to get it. But we know that we are very intentional in our products and everything of that nature. So um, we just wanted to put that out there. Now we're going to get right on into your energy. And we want to let you know too that we are doing frequencies because there is a need to activate you. So we are activating you in this time if you give us full permission, if you are open, and if you are allowing to these activations. And then we're gonna do a, a deeper activation at the very end of this video. We, uh, so we are asking you to come to your heart and get out of your head. We need you to come to your heart and to get out of your head. 
the first card that came out that fell out just literally just fell into my leg is the ego and you may not be able to be able to see it or you probably can see it it's the ego this is illusions dependency materialism being focused on all the wrong things, being caught up into all the wrong things and people and things of that nature, which is why we felt like it was very important for us to let you know that if you are someone that follow religions and, and all those things and, and all of that, that you are following satanic and, and demonic beings that is not of the light, that is not of our only one creator. Fears, worries, doubts, anxiety, guilt, shame, all of those negative emotions come from those false light bees, those false teachers, those religions and all those things. That does not come from our only one creator. Our only one creator instills love, wholeness, balance, harmony, trust, patience, understanding, wisdom, strength, courage, bravery. Those come from our creator. All right, so if you are feeling negative emotions, that means that you have been following the wrong people, the wrong, all of that. So we're gonna get you back to where you need to be, all right, which is connected to our only one creator. With this ego card here, ego typically means that you are staying all up in your head, okay? It is, um, it is like a selfish type energy um, that could be imbalanced you know a lot of manipulation and control is happening to you right now you're overthinking things because you are so far away from our creator and you are not in alignment with this particular card you have a bird that is in a cage and the cage is open so meaning the bird can fly out but for some reason it feels like it's stuck like it can't move like it can't get out and that is because of the fears. It is, you know, false experiences appearing real. It is not real, it is an illusion. So for those of you who think that you're stuck, you're not stuck, you could get up. I like to use the example of um, you're five foot tall and you're drowning in two feet water. Just stand up. So it's like one of those type of situations and also too for those of you who just like to shop and get all these unnecessary things that don't mean anything, that is materialism, that's also being in the ego too, you need to ground yourself and become more balanced and in alignment of what is going on and what is serving your highest and greatest good, okay? Because you're not seeing things clearly. Now the truth is finally starting to become revealed. You're starting to see the truth and know the truth of things. And we just say, be gentle with yourself when you get these truths, okay? Because some of them are, can be pretty heavy. Okay, so you just gotta just nourish yourself through it. But there is a nice amount of you all that are in your ego and it is time for you to surrender that ego. You have to surrender your ego and allow it to trust the light. Tell your ego to sit down, have seats, and to trust the light. Allow your egos to get in alignment with your higher self so that you can live and walk in your true authentic purpose, all right? Geminis, you know, they always come for the Geminis, most often misunderstood, right? Because of duality nature, being able to see from different sides, but also too, you're a magician. You are in a magician. You can create and manifest at a blink of an eye. You are very powerful beyond measure, right? So it is a need for you to be tapped into. You are probably one of the ones that's most targeted you know, when it comes to, to everything, which is why you stay in your head. That is no, that's not what you, your gut, right? Your gut is where your soul is. You wanna stay connected to your gut and your heart. You keep your heart open. That is your distribution center. That is what allows things to come in for you. We wanna tell you about NPCs too, which is a video that you will find in the description box below to give you a full, deep, understand on NPCs about these soulless entities and these beings that um, that uh, that may have a soul but just only have a purpose to just distract you so this can be someone in your life who always argue with you who's always you know just going back and forth and bickering for some reason spirit want me to just say this again because some of you all are married to these people some of you are living with these people if you have children that are like just cursing you out just disrespectful things like that they could possibly be an NPC, 
all right so you want to definitely look at that video so you can assess who you are around who you working with who you have close to you so that you can be able to assess and, and remove those inorganic beings out of your life so that you can live a more truthful authentic and fruitful life that you are meant to have all right so yes we got to get out of that ego now we have angel whispers coming in yes for the number 28 the angels are whispering to you gemini they they are whispering to you you want to listen to those soft messages that is coming to you because they want you to wake up and activate yourself activate those gifts open up yourself get yourself in alignment with our only one creator get yourself back in alignment with love turn to love turn to your heart open your heart get vulnerable allow yourself to receive all right so they are whispering messages to you right now and then we have ascension so some of you all are starting to ascend allow yourself to be light and become one with all that is right leading with love and with light but you are transforming you are having a new beginning you are opening up to the truth and knowing the truth you will let go and allow yourself to become harmonious with your higher self so that you will trust your intuition you would trust how you feel as soon as you get that first nudge you would not go against it you will allow it to lead you and know and believe that that is the true guidance okay and then we have learning so a lot of you all are opening yourself up to new information you are starting to learn more about yourself your surroundings and what is going on and this is uh, a great signal um, a great confirmation with the fact that we have hand-picked and we done fine-tuned and went through to make sure that these were authentic messages in those videos that we placed for you in the description box below and on the community tab because it is time that you know the truth we got these beings that have infinite wisdom that is coming through and is laying it out for you very clear so that you can know what is going on and this awareness is not meant for you to have any more negative emotions. This is to bring more love and, and clarity and, and, and hopefulness and, and awareness so that you could come from a place of, hmm, okay, that makes sense. So now I get why I've been dealing with what I've been dealing with. And now that I have that awareness, I am a master. I can take better control of my life now. Now I am becoming self-aware and know what steps to take and everything of that nature okay so yes you are learning all right now we also have from the African goddess here self-sabotage which makes very much sense when it comes to the ego card you have this woman she's laying here and it's like snakes all around she's all in murky water right self-sabotage you are self-sabotaging yourself you are placing yourself in this prison you are telling yourself that you are not good enough you are allowing these false life beings these teachers and everything to keep you stuck and stagnant and you are so powerful all right so if there's a need to get yourself out of this victimhood this victim mentality because it is not you that is not who you truly are you have to activate yourself and get yourself back in alignment with our only one creator and just know that any negative emotions none of that is coming from our only one creator you have to remember love you have to tune into love because that is who you are that is the truth okay so no more sabotaging yourself and then we also have with the African goddess and they're they're sitting here in nature because we are nature surrounded by a whole bunch of plants and and everything of that feeling safe because we are safe so the spirit guides want you to know that it is safe to be in the body it is safe to be here it is safe to be in nature all right that is where you can raise your frequency that is where you will feel the love from the the lovely animals and and the the you know the whole elemental kingdom when it comes to our plants and you know the water and the the, the grass and you know the everything that is just an environment and just just that is natural and that is a part of nature so you know and it also has like the number four which 
which is like a um, stability, right? A sense of security. So that is available to you. So some of you may need to go in nature so that you can feel that oneness, that safetyness again. And if you're unable to get out into nature, bring nature indoors. You know, I have over 50 plants. Love my babies. Like I'm surrounded by plants. They are alive. They are living. They communicate with me. We sing, we dance and all of that is truly beautiful. And you know, just so that you can know that you're never alone. They also protect you as well. They help to clear the air of all types of toxins and things of that nature. You know, there's some plants that can help heal you. You can rub some on your skin and everything like that. So, you know, it is very good to have them around. And when you have them indoors with you, then you will have a, 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 a feeling of, of wholeness and, and clarity and love and balance that you need, okay? So we have that coming out there for you. And then uh, we also have contemplation. So some of you all are, I'm, I'm feeling the two of wands um, energy when it comes to the tarot card. So you are making a decision, a big life decision on which direction to take. The thing is to get that answer to that question, you will have to get yourself back grounded and rooted into your gut. All right, your intuition and your heart. Stay out of that head. It is going to distract you and confuse you in every way because you are opening yourself up to allowing those false light beings to infiltrate and to condition and program you. And that is not what you want or need at this time. Okay, so there is a need for you to just sit with yourself and to go within and to balance your energy and to really assess what it is that you need for your life. And you already get information by knowing who to take out of your life because when you watch that video about the NPCs and just by us giving you that explanation on the type of things that these NPCs bring into your life, you would know to release any negative people that makes you feel anything that is less than love, that make you question yourself, you know, and all of those things, okay? So some of you are um, in contemplation. Now we have amplify your positive emotions and this beautiful looking fairy is putting her feet in water. Some of you may need to go for a swim, go be by a lake, go be near water. And remember to speak life and love and positivity in all ways, all right? Speak love and positivity about yourself and about others in all ways. That is our creator. When you, when you self-sabotage, when you do all this negative thinking, negative talking and all of that, that is part of those religions and those false light beings and those false teachers that is, that is meant to keep you stuck and stagnant and to keep you on lower frequencies and lower vibrations. So therefore, you have to get yourself focused and remember who you are. Get yourself in water. Do you a full body purge, a full body detox and cleanse and let go of all those negative emotions, the negative stories, the past. All of those things, just let it all go and allow yourself to have this new beginning. Okay. And then we have pause. So some of you all need to pause. You need to take it. Some of you all are doing too much. You over here just working, burn yourself into working and, and all these other things. And when you need to just stop, you need to sit still and get yourself grounded. Because also too, when you look at some of those videos, you're going to end up seeing that you over here working for the enemy. So therefore you're going to need to really get yourself together and really figure out your life, figure out your purpose and what you are here for. All right, because running yourself into the ground, keeping yourself on this, this constant loop is not your purpose, all right? So some of you all do need to, and then this one right here, she's over here by a tree. Go sit by a tree, go hug some trees. The trees have information. They give us wisdom and knowledge. Touch and ground and get yourself back connected so that you can get connected to our creator, okay? Then we have breakthrough. So some of you are breaking through. Like we said, you are going through an ascension. So you are breaking free from all limitations because the limitations comes from those false light beings, those false teachers, those religions and everything. We are limitless. So when you are fully in alignment and plugged in and tapped into our only one creator, you will know that you're limitless. You will have more trust. You will know that all is well and all will forever be well. All right. So yes, to that breaking through to those infinite possibilities. And then we have a potential gateway. 
So this right here is just letting you know that you have the opportunity, depending on what choice and what direction that you choose to make, that you will have that gateway to be able to have this new beginning, to truly set yourself free. Because the only reason why you don't feel free is because you are telling yourself that you're not free. You are choosing to not be free. You are choosing to keep yourself stuck and stagnant. You don't have to be. You are a magician. Anything that you want, you can have. You are limitless, all right? So it's time for you to tap in and tune in and just allow yourself to be the most legendary being that you are meant to be. We have make a wish now. This is a very good time, a very auspicious time for you to make that wish because the lovely person that's delivering this message to you has the beautiful ability to make that, that, that wish come true very fast for you. Your heart has to be open though. You have to be in alignment. You have to be a good person. You have to be good to everyone, nature and everything that is around you in order for this to come in. But at this time, you have the opportunity to make a wish from your heart, with your heart open, with you truly trusting and believing and making sure that you are in alignment with our only one creator. Praises to what the most high, praises to love, to our only one creator of everything, right? Those, you know, those are the energies and the frequencies that you want to bring in. That's who you want to pray to and, and talk to and everything like that. Our only one creator. And that you know that we co-create with our only one creator. But make that wish, all right? Because it is coming true for you. And then we have the big picture. So we have here an angel here that is sitting above. So this is like having a bird's eye view. So you want to kind of expand your, your visions and your horizon and pull yourself back so that you can see everything. Maybe you need to go to like a really tall tower and just look down at everything, okay? Or just envision yourself being on top of the world and seeing everything for what it really is so that you can truly assess and understand what it is that you need so that you can know exactly how to move forward because spirit is also giving us right now some of you all are married to these inorganic people these npcs that's meant to keep you stuck and stagnant some of you are living with these npcs some of you are working with these npcs and some of you are telling your wishes and dreams to these npcs and you have to stop you have to stop okay you have to get focused you are powerful Geminis give focus stay in your heart open that heart okay now we have Shetty the old that is coming from our beautiful sea animals okay with the this look like a lobster all right shedding the old there is a change coming your way so cultivate a sense of adventure so you will be able to see these new prospects, all right? Newness is coming. Now we have surrounded by prosperity and that's, that's, this is a turtle with these beautiful yellow fish surrounding that turtle. And we know slow and steady wins the race. There's no need to rush a thing. So you are surrounded by prosperity, Gemini. It is, it is so much love and light around you. You have to open yourself up to see it, all right? Your attention is being drawn to the infinite nature of reality. That which exists outside the known is beyond measure, all right? It is everywhere. It is everywhere. Believe in this, know in this. Now we got the sharks coming through telling uh, persistent, drive and i'm seeing number 11 and so some of you all may have the master number of 11 as your life path number so persistent drive see what you desire and move toward that goal it is time to zero in on your purpose use your intuition and instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome all right now we got the humpback whale we got a singer some of you Gemini's, y'all got a voice, y'all can sing. So go ahead and sing your soul song, all right? We have sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. 
nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Only you, only you. You are the one that's telling yourself about these limits. You are a magician. So you more so than anything, and with your power and the ability to, to magnify and amplify and to bring things in, if you are focusing on negative things and all of that, you are going to continue to allow those things to happen. If you hold known to grief and resentments and all type of negative emotions, you're going to continue to keep attracting that because you're the magician. So that's why it's important for you to stand tall and not allow any of that. You will have to be the alchemist, Gemini. You're going to have to change your, your words, your thoughts, your actions to be able to attract everything that you truly desire. All right? Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. That is what the will is telling you, all right? Because you are powerful. Now we have the raven coming through as well. Shaman, oh my goodness, there's some powerful beings that is coming through. Y'all are powerful beyond measure. No wonder you've been so attacking yourself, sabotaging yourself. It is time for you to wake yourself on up. Stand up, show up, and show out. You got the shamans. You are the creator and magician. You are the creator and the magician. There is absolutely no reason for you to be self-sabotaging yourself, being all in the ego, or anything. There is no reason for your life to not be the way that you need it to be. Use your gifts for good. Use it for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits. Yeah, that's because I was saying environmental. Yeah, and elemental. Yes. Connect with all those spirits, okay? And glide. Glide through the void. Just glide on through. Because you know, 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 Gemini, 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 you know, you know, you know, who oh, you know, you know, you know, and some of you Geminis, you, you, you got a Gemini in your sun and moon, you are unstoppable, sun and moon, you are unstoppable and untouchable, remember who you are. Remember who you are. Claim your place as the keeper in the mysteries. Oh, oh boy, you get that. Now we got the life purpose card coming out for you. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you. Your purpose matters hugely, hugely right now, especially with you being a creator and a magician. That's, I mean, my goodness gracious, yes. Your soul had a couple of questions for us and we're gonna give you the answer to, the, to those questions. What passion am I ready to pursue? All right, that's what your soul is asking us. So your passions will continually lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? What passion are we gonna activate? Because your passion is your purpose. Write a list of passions to which you want to give life right now. Then journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily life. Trust your soul's whispering and let your passions draw you towards your dream life. Who can I serve today? In a world lacking soul to soul connection in a world that is lacking soul to soul connection and you want to know why is lacking 
the soul to soul connection because it's being ran by inorganic false beings. It is not being ran by our only one creator because there is no lack or limitations when it comes to our only one creator. The lack and limitations come from those false light beings those GODs and, and uh, you know, all those entities and, 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 and things like that, they're inorganic, all right? So small and simple acts are what create the biggest and most lasting impact. We shift our own pain and experience an avalanche of love when we lose ourselves in the service of others. We are here to serve others. We start with ourselves though. Because self-love is the best love. We, we have to become self-aware so that we can set healthy boundaries and teach people how to treat us. That way we can attract. We are not meant to be separated. Separation comes from those false light beings. Our only one creator, we are connected. We are one. We are whole and we are meant to be together. We are not meant to be separated or alone. We are meant to be together. The false light beings, those inorganic ones, painted such a great picture by controlling and manipulating all of society to keep everybody separated, to pull everybody apart from each other because they know that we are stronger and more powerful when we are together. We transcend time. We collapse timelines. We make things happen for the greater good of all. Rise up. And remember who you are. Your action is to listen to your heart. Who needs you? Make one soulful connection today and give solely to spread more love, expecting nothing in return. Notice the joy that you feel when you serve others. It is rewarding when you can give from your open heart. Ah, oh, it is so beautiful when you can just live in your heart because that is who you truly are. That is our creator, love, the highest frequency of all. We have a mindful message and that is my own energy. I love being there for friends and family while staying true to myself. I don't let others' energy or mood affect my own. To help a friend in a hole, I don't need to jump in a hole with them. Simply reach out a hand. It's up to them to do the rest. That is a huge message because a lot of people take on other people's traumas and pains and all that other stuff. No, you let that stuff go. That's their stuff. They made their own choices and decisions. It has nothing to do with you and it's none of your business. So if you want to offer help and that you only offer that help when you are fully full, self full, meaning that you are, you got rest, you balance, you're in alignment, you know, you doing things for you, making sure that all of your needs and everything is met, then you'll be able to assist somebody else. But when you assist in these people too, make sure that they are actually, you know, doing things that are that are good for themselves that they are making choices and decisions that is good for them because if they just looking for a handout and they're not holding themselves accountable npc 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 i'm telling you to distract you so you have to use your intuition to know if, if it's someone who is actually in alignment they're doing the best that they can and it's like okay there's a time where they just really need a helping hand that absolutely help that person because that person already know upright that it's going to be an equal give and take it's equal reciprocity because we all need someone all right but just know that you don't pull yourself into their drama don't do that you know what i'm saying they created that chaos you, you are not to be a part of that chaos so you just you love them from a distance you offer that assistance from a distance and whatever it is that they choose to do with that, that's on them. It has nothing to do with you, okay? Now we have a, a lot of angel numbers that came out. So um, some of you, you know, maybe seeing repeating numbers and synchronicities, that is the universe. They are reaching out to you with messages, okay? So if you've been seeing 333, that is support. So seeing the angel number 333 is a sign that it's time to focus inward work on your skills, discover your talents, and use your imagination. 
Unleash your inner artist. Doing so will boost your self-esteem and sense of competence. It does wonders for your sense of purpose and contributes to your community, okay? And then we have 220. So if you're saying 220 or, or 0220, that is saying to act on your idea. So you have the benefit of good fortune. And if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern since what your plant what you plant will grow. So you're about to experience a spectacular accent. So if you see in 0220 or 2 and 20, act on that idea. Now we got 7777. So 777, perseverance. There's a need for a change of perspective on whatever has taken over you now. So if you want to succeed, you need to keep going down the road you're on reach for the wisdom within and then you'll just know what the right next step is all right because some of you got to pull yourself out of that hole y'all been following y'all up here following these false like these these false teachers and got you all confused and just all just you know it's time to get yourself claim your power because there is no reason for any gemini to be struggling at all we have 1122, that's a great shift. So first focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. Then expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new. So many positive shifts are in store for you. The world around you is changing in favor of your intentions. All right now, so if you see an 1122, now, if you see an 808, that is swift action. You will enter a time of expansion. So begin taking steps toward achieving your ultimate objective immediately. Finances will miraculously improve. Oh, and somebody has their mind set on you. <laughs> somebody got their mind set on you when you see an 808. So it's rest. I see that. I see that number all the time. All right. So take that swift action. All right. 12-12. <laughs> if you see in 12-12, that is persistence. So, oh, happy, oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Go ahead. Sing your soul song, y'all. All right. An ample opportunity related to your life's purpose is just around the corner. Take immediate action once it pops up. Of course, a lovely partnership or an epic romance is also in the cards. Ooh, some of y'all, y'all true love is here. Ooh, 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 true love. Power couple, power couple, power couple. What, what? Untouchable, unstoppable. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Boom, yes. And then we have 16, 16. So if you see in 16, 16 or 616, that is readjustments, okay? So your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right. So on the horizon is a possibility of a, of a beginning, a new romantic or platonic friendship, as well as a chance to begin life anew with a person from one's past everything will fall to pieces now that's very interesting so all right your level of self-control is sufficient to make things right so this is so 616 is or 1616 is signifying that you do got some past lovers that want to come back into your life so you becoming self-aware and self-control will allow you to know that's why i got to tap into your intuition if you should allow this person back into your life Okay, so you have to just use all your tools to just know, uh, you know, because there is opportunity of new romance or a platonic friendship, you know, to begin. And what we feel from the energies is that it's 50-50. Some has shifted and you can truly trust this, this person and the other 50, no, you want to stay away. It's an NPC. 
all right especially with this part everything will fall to pieces so yeah it's a 50 50 thing so you just got to use your intuition on that now we got 1551 which is hold your vision so focus on the good and maintain your concentration on the outcomes you desire now you're not supposed to focus on the outcome you want to let go of the outcome so sometimes too what we found is that you know we have to change some of the words and things around because there will be stuff that if you are not aware it would it would try to keep you up in a loop so you do want to focus on the good and you want to you want to concentrate on the good don't worry about the outcome just know that it's going to happen just like when you place an order at a restaurant you know you place your order and you don't be worried, you know, you don't be worried about when it's going to come. You know it's going to come. So that's the same thing with that. So make sure that you hold your vision. It is time to put your faith and time into your ideas and to pursue your goals with all your might. You have such a beautiful, courageous, and brave spirit. You do. Now we have 505. If you see in 505, that is an unexpected shift. So this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, your dream job, or abroad. Oh my goodness, it is so much love that is coming through this, through, uh, through this reading, Gemini. Some of y'all, y'all true love is here. Oh, it's here. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that is so beautiful just... Oh, this is beautiful. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition. Now, if you see in 10, 11, that is to take action. So this is a call to action. If you see in 10, 11, to move forward. The sooner you get going, the sooner you will accomplish what you set out to do. Those with patience will eventually reap the rewards of their perseverance. All right. Now, if you see 101, that is starting over. All right, so happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. So learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. So understand its process, the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. So start fresh. You are an expert now, all right? You've learned from your mistakes, so now you know how to, you know how to take it on like the master that you are now we got nine 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 if you've been saying nine 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 that's completion that is in but that's also release so we have your current circumstances are ending so you might take advantage of better ones so if you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful how can you make room for something new to emerge? So yes, when you see 999, that is endings. You know, you're about to have a, a beautiful new beginning. So get ready for that. Now we have 3333. So social skills. The problems that you have today will eventually disappear. Your guardian angels encourage you to maintain a positive outlook on life since your luck may be about to change. It is changing. It's time to put to use your captivating energy and inspirational personality. Don't let your ego get the best of you. Do not let that ego get the best of you. Tell the ego to sit down. Tell it to have some seats. Tell it to get into harmony with the higher self, okay? And then we have 1001. So if you're seeing 101001, that is spiritual awakening. And a lot of you are, are going through an awakening. So a new phase in a spiritual quest is going on right now. You are going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like the dark night of the soul. You're on a path to enlightenment. And this too shall pass. So for those of you, you know, yes, a lot of things is maybe crackling down and coming down and things of that nature, but it is beautiful because you are an awakening. And that is confirmation because the awakening card did come out in your energy. All right. So those are your angel numbers. And lastly here, we're going to, we have 
uh, two activations for you, okay? And we, you know, if you may have placements in, in Libra or Aquarius, we recommend you watch those videos too because there's other activations in those videos that you may want to get. You can just scroll all the way to the end to get to the activations, but they also have angel numbers and messages that may benefit you as well. We are sending these activations to you right now, so open your heart to be able to receive these activations and then we're going to read it. We just saw 444. Four, four, four. We're going to read these activations to you. It's okay that it's not focused or it's not clear. It is coming to you, all right? We have success. Okay, excuse me. We have success. <laughs> All right. I grow and thrive in the universe. I discover the purity of my heart and the higher wisdom that guides me toward victory. I direct my thoughts toward clarity and nurture wisdom, love, and goodness within me. I am free now. I am free now. I am free now and I succeed in my life and so it is 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 you are free you are free and then we have being true I am true to myself and others I remove my mask and stop creating illusions. I have confidence in who I am. I have confidence in who I am. I have confidence in who I am. And I reveal the good in me. I do not need to hide or prove anything. I replace shame with the power of love and true. And so it is. 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 Yes, yes, Gemini, 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 yes, Gemini, yes. And so it is. Whoo, come on, that was powerful, y'all. That was powerful. Write those down if you can. Or get you another phone if you got multiple phones and, and record that audio so that you can just replay it, all right? We wish you so much wholeness, love, and light. Y'all got this. Y'all, the creators and the magicians, come through. Come through now. And a lot of y'all got some true love, true love, true love is here. Oh, that is so amazing. We wish you again so much wholeness, love, and light. Make sure you look at those videos in the description box below and on the community tab, all right? Till next time.